So there's any number of days uh, that I end up in conversation about something. Uh, lately, it's because of the uh, uh, refugees of the war from Ukraine and uh, some of them coming to work at Peter's Independent Grocer. Part of his uh, growing United Nations over there. If you've never been to Peter's Independent Grocery uh, over there in the in the Capri Shopping Center uh, and you haven't really realized that he has an entire United Nations working there, uh, then you haven't yet met Peter. Uh, but he does also sorts of things. On Wednesdays, we've got Paul Clark doing Wine Wednesdays. We talk about any of the fine bottles of wine that Peter has there. And then every once in a while, he connects me with somebody who has a very unique product, often uh, produced right here in the Okanagan Valley. Uh, and we end up talking about that as well. But today, I am going to talk about books, in particular, cookbooks, and in particular, a cookbook that has been produced by Michelle Romano. Uh, it is Romano Toscano, The Top Secret Italian Family Recipes, uh, written by Michelle Romano, and she's going to be at Peter's Independent Grocers today from 1 to 5 this afternoon, doing a book launch, book signing, whatever you want to call it. Michelle Romano joins me on the line for a couple of moments to talk about this book. Good, day, good morning to you, madam. Uh, good morning to you, Phil. And have you been ostracized by your family? Are you now persona non grata? Because if I know anything about Italian recipes, somebody is really PO'd at you deciding no. to take the family and put it in the pages of a book and give it away to the general public? Well, you're really funny because that's partly in truth. That's why it took me so long. It's like pulling horses' teeth, <laughs> pretty much. So but then, you know, but then, you know, I think everybody, for the most part, is pretty proud and happy, especially my parents and stuff. And my parents were quite known in, in the Creston Valley and area for their spaghetti meatballs. And we've never given out that recipe before. And, um, we, you know, we had a sad loss of my two brothers, my brother Dana Romano. He used to have a restaurant and, and he was using the recipes. And when he passed away, then mom and dad said, go ahead and put it in your book. So, <laughs> so whoa, whoa. This is, this is harsh. Your, your yeah. brother had to pass before the family would release. <laughs> well, well, yeah, right? Yeah. But, um... No, and then, you know, my grandmother, Carmela, like I was saying, she she passed down a lot of recipes. I have some Carmela recipes in here, and my great-grandmother, and so simple, but so, you know. Italian I'm delicious. Really, yes, you will not find in on the net any, anywhere. Okay, so That's very quickly. Recipes. So does your family have roots in, 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 in the interior of B.C.? Yes, in... Um, in Trail, Creston, and Cranbrook area mostly. And how do they end up here? And Fernie, too. How do they end up here? Well, this book was published. I'm, I'm from Creston still, but. Um, You're a local! <laughs> no, not local from Creston, from Kelowna. You're a local! Local. Well, I did live here for about eight years. Okay, all right. <laughs> so listen, uh, we be, we got to be careful. You're way too much fun, and I'm having too good a time. And the next thing I was saying, and it's 8.30, and we haven't even talked about the book, you, or the okay. signing. So okay. I'm looking at the book, and I will tell you, it is gorgeous. It is, Thank first you. of all, what I like about it is that it's wire-bound, so, yeah. so that when I'm looking at a page and I'm trying to follow a recipe, the book doesn't close itself because the binding. <laughs> is so tight. Uh, exactly. Instead, it sits flat right there on the counter. Brilliant. Yes, love it. Yeah. Who took the and pictures? It's got white clean pa- oh, sorry. Who took um, the my, pictures? My husband, Daniel Kropanak, is my, my guy that takes my pictures, does all my designing of stuff. And He's yeah. brilliant. He's brilliant. He, he's done a fantastic job, and he tells everybody, I say I cooked every one of those pictures, and he said, and I ate every one of them. <laughs> That's a good so, one. So he weighs 372 yeah. pounds, ready to go on a diet? <laughs> he works out every day, otherwise he would. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah. so now yeah. I'm looking I'm looking at, at something that I uh, always use as my judge of, uh, of, of the quality of, of, of authentic mm-hmm. Italian. I'm looking yeah. at Joey and Dorothy Romano's spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah. To me, spaghetti and meatballs are the definitive marker by which Italian... Italian cooking is oh. is measured. Oh, I, and yes, I'm telling you, yes. People in Creston Valley, my dad used to cook for the Heartland, 
and the, all the hockey stuff, and everybody, everybody wanted to and his and mom's recipe. But they never got it till now. So Creston's just loving this book right now. I'm not on <laughs> Creston, Fernie, Cranbrook, a trail. I thought, you know, I was at Ferraro. So it's just going good. And there's over 150 recipes, great from appetizer to dessert. Yep. And um, very easy to follow instructions. And Whoa. every picture, every every recipe has a beautiful glossy photo, and wipe clean pages. You know, if you spill something on it, you just you know gently oh. wipe it off. I'm looking at uh, Liana's roasted garlic. Oh, <laughs> that's my sister Liana. Yes, I'm staying at her house right now. It is, yeah, it is something else. Oh, that one, you better try it. It doesn't give you garlic breath either. Eight whole heads of garlic, <laughs> two teaspoons of olive oil, one bottle or can of dark or amber beer, yeah. uh, salt and pepper lightly, pour the beer over. Oh, oh no, you just drink the beer afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one or two or a glass of wine. There you go. <laughs> so now listen, let's get down to business here. You have arrived in town. You're doing a, a cross BC book tour right now. You're yeah. going to be at Peter's Independent Grocers at uh, at uh, uh, what time? One to five today, and I'll be set up. He's going to set me up in front of a wine bar. Well, oh, of course really he is. Not. That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> of course he is. And yeah. maybe you could maybe you could do a little tasting while you're there. That would sure be nice if he would oblige. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you know what? He's a really he's good so guy. Good. Um, he's he's one of my faves. Uh, I talked to, to meet him. Yeah, he just is. He's just a, a beautiful man who uses his store uh, to benefit the community in the in the, in, wow. in the true old Italian way, you know, uh, you know, if, That's fantastic. if your store sells food, then then you use your store to do good work in the community. And Lord knows he does this. I really like that. And he's he also had me contact the Kelowna Italian Club and they've been giving me great support um, uh, posting on their web page and uh, Facebook page. And OK. Stuff like that. So, okay. Yeah, so really listen excited. up, folks. Listen up here. One o'clock this afternoon, uh, Michelle Romano will be at Peter's Independent Grocer in the Capri Shopping Center. Uh, she's going to be set up right in front of the wine section, which is a great place for uh, for an Italian girl to be placed. Uh, as uh, as she presents uh, her cookbook to you, I'll read the back cover. Michelle Romano's long awaited. Highly anticipated cookbook can now be yours. Blend of savory top secret recipes handed down through the generations. Great grandma to grandma to mama to Michelle. Mm-hmm. So there's four there's four de- four uh, uh, decades in here of mm-hmm. uh, of Romano cooking. Uh, come and experience these rich culinary delights, compliments of the Romano Toscano Italian families. So who are the Toscanos? Gigi Toscano and uh, his wife Ange, they were, he's, he was an Italian chef and unfortunately he passed away, but really, really close friends. And he used to allow me to stand by him and write, 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 and just glean everything I could from him. So I felt that I, I've got a few of his recipes in here too, and I really wanted to honor him as well. Oh, okay. You know? So listen, so, you know what I think people should be doing? If they have if they have someone on their on their uh, Christmas gift list that likes to cook, somebody could do some of their Christmas shopping and get it done, finished and out of the way. Because I honestly believe that this book would be a fabulous uh, Christmas gift. Uh, Phil, it's amazing you say that. You would not believe how many people are coming back and they're going. Yeah, can I have three, four? I signed five books for a fellow the other day. He he's got all his Christmas shopping done to Exactly. I look at this and I think this isn't there just isn't a better Christmas gift for somebody who's a foodie who likes to cook. Yeah, yeah. And do you know how much it's selling for? I just want to say because I'm I'm very happy we were able to keep it this price with all these photos, and that's twenty nine ninety nine. Seriously. No, and yeah. Well done. Well done. Thank you so much. Well done. Well done. This is cool. Listen, it's not not often. I mean, I do a lot of work with Peter off and on here and there, but it's the first time I've ever had anybody come on who's doing a book signing in his store, and I get to meet the author and the chef and the woman, the woman who put it all together. Uh, well done, girl. This is a beautiful God, piece of thank work. Thank you, Bill. And and oh, kudos to your husband, you. who's the photographer. He does take beautiful yeah. pictures. He does. He's got some talent. If you get tired of writing and cooking, you can just ride uh, his. 
his train because he can just travel the world <laughs> and, and be a photographer and a shooter. And you just exactly you can and we're be working as, on another book. Are you really? Yeah. Of course you are. Book. Of course you are. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be all Italian though. It's going to be stuff like we make our own homemade sauerkraut, made sauerkraut and ribs, and you know the old fashioned pork hock and beans and cabbage rolls with um, oh, just made the true way, you know? So Something you're going, like so you're going to, so you're going to, you're going to go completely, uh, Ukrainian. Um, uh. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm going to have something for everyone. Just like this book. All right. But just, you know, I, I just love all nationalities. I love cooking, but okay, folks, this is my heart and soul here. Listen, Michelle Romano, you've been a treat. Uh, it's been a great morning, great time talking to you. She will be at Peter's Independent Grocer from 1 to 5 this afternoon, uh, selling that book for $29, 29 and change. You can do all of your Christmas shopping for the foodies on your list. Uh, and uh, and she will autograph the autograph, personally sign the book to whomever you'd like to give it to. Um, just a great time, great fun. Uh, you can tell from herself uh, on the phone. Great energy. Uh, go by, meet her, say hello, and say, I'd like to buy one of your books. Or as she indicated a moment or two ago, somebody came in and said, I'll buy five. Sign them for me. Got my Christmas shopping all done. Anyway, it's the early edition. Nice to have you here.